This is Twit. This week's big app fills a hole in the Android app library. We all felt a little left out when Instagram released its Hyperlapse app exclusively for iOS last year. Hyperlapse isn't just an Instagram thing. It's actually a technique designed to stabilize recorded video for high-speed playback. It's a cool look. Well, Instagram skipped Android, and who came along to fill the void? You guessed it, Microsoft. Last week, we saw the release of Microsoft Hyperlapse, but it's currently part of the beta program. So for now, look for the Hyperlapse beta community in Google+, follow the instructions for signing up and installing. The UI for the app is pretty darn simple at the moment. You really only have two options, import an existing movie, and you can record something new. If you choose to import an existing movie, it actually works really well, but do keep in mind, you'll need to make sure that its resolution is no more than 720p. Otherwise, the app is gonna reject it. Thankfully, Microsoft has a web version that can process those higher res files. But for this review, let's record something new. You tap record, and you see the interface here. Uh, front or rear facing cameras can be set, of course. And you can throw on the flash as a fill light, if you like, so that's nice. Just tap that big red button and do something that you think will look cool in high speed, whether it be recording your drive, or walking behind someone for a long period of time. What you'll see in the finished video is that once bumpy movements should now be stabilized and smoothed out. When you stop recording, you'll get a preview of the effect and a dial that you can use to set how fast you want playback to be. You can even set it to normal playback speed and depending on the content, you'll see what the algorithm has done to smooth it out. Just look at how the background is steady, but the foreground kind of jumps around a little bit. It's somewhat hard to explain, but with the right footage, it's super cool. And seeing as how this is just the beta, I imagine great things and more importantly, broader device support is hopefully right around the corner. You can check it out for yourself by searching for Microsoft Hyperlapse for free in the Play Store.